See how I paint these hearts? Upside down. Watch me. You'll be amazed. I first put on a coat of white paint. This is DIY paint. It goes on very easily and one coat coverage is all you need on a board. This is a stamp from IOD called Birds, Blossoms, and Branches, and it has some good branches. If you can't draw your own, this is a good way for you to do it. You just lay the branch onto your thin mount. You take some ink. This is the brown ink that I had mixed in my previous video, and I mixed these colors together to make brown. And if you want to see that, you can go to my last thrift haul video where I show you how I do that. So just ink up your stamp, turn it over, lay it down on your piece of wood, and you'll have the perfect brown branch. Then you can go and see how I did some of the rest of the stamping. Next, I took a pen that is permanent black, and this one has two ends, one really skinny, one nice fine line, and I drew some lines, some strings down from the branch. We're gonna have some hearts hanging from this branch, and so I just drew a few lines down. I like things in odd numbers. I do not like even numbers, so I made sure that I had an odd number of strings and then I also wanted it to go behind some of the leaves and branches. Now we're going to make the hearts. I have Kissing Booth and Vintage Linen. I sprayed them with water so that they're a little bit thinner than the DIY paint normally is. You have to turn your board upside down, take a round brush with a point on it, lay your brush down and go at kind of an angle and pull up. I mix in a little bit of white with that kissing booth to lighten up that pink a little bit. And you can see these make some perfect looking hearts. And you take the board and flip it over, you cut some cute little hanging hearts off of your branch. Now for just an added sparkle to the painting, I added a little bit more water so it was really thin. I took my palette knife, this is a plastic one so it doesn't hurt, and I just take and fling it back and making splatter marks with this kissing booth and some with the lighter pink. You can skip this step if you choose. I 
wanted to see how it was going to look. I am pretty famous for my Connie lines, so I took this permanent marker and I drew some lines around the hearts. And then also I do like a few squiggly lines, so I squiggled up my lines a little bit, then it doesn't matter that they're not quite so straight. So you can decide whether you want to do this step or if you want to skip it. took another brand of permanent marker. This one is white, so I just added a few white fun little details to these hearts. Next up, I sanded the block. All the edges are nice and sanded. And then I took my DIY big top. I put it into my separate container so that it does not get contaminated or stinky in big quantities. There's only a small amount in that little container. And I went over the entire board with the big top. Now I'm going back to that brown ink. My big top is dry. I did let it dry in advance. And I'm going over and darkening up those edges using that brown ink. That's another way that you can distress a board is with the ink. Now I went ahead and took the dark wax, this is from DIY, and I went right over the edges of the board and darkened it right up. There's no clear or top coat on these edges so that the dark wax gets nice and dark. try this it was so fun if you have a paintbrush I don't care what color you have if you have a round brush with a point on the end give it a try on a piece of paper I don't care it's so fun make yourself some Valentine hearts if you need any DIY paint you can head on over to the photographer.com or these stamps that I used today are also located on there thank you and until next time happy painting <laughs>